Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. Body suits in green, the budget. Green socks, dudes. <laughs> the fact that we don't have what? Green socks. Would be so green no, socks. people be so Full mad if you don't talk into a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one guy at the back, like yells in the back, waiting to do a podcast. Yeah, we, uh, your podcast. It's a good idea for your podcast to have someone talking off mic. <laughs> Turns out it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turns out it actually rules, and I feel more like I'm just hanging out. Yeah, dude. I mean, we could get it so that. Or we have like animated limbs. What are we doing? Everything should be animated. I mean, dude. I want tank legs, first of all. Yeah, why don't we have yeah. mech suits? I want, I want Can we Danny just don't talk to me about mech suits right now, oh, man. That's the biggest dude. mistake you could possibly make. Dude, hear me out. <laughs> Shut up. Green, I mean, not to give away the things to the viewer. Green screen suits. We're floating heads with animated bodies. Why not? Bro, I, why can't we do this? Why the fuck can't we do this? Why can't we have animated fucking... My, you know my current my current autistic full deep dive right now is on a video game <laughs> series called Armored Core, and I've been just obsessively picking my arms and my legs and my core and my radar systems and my weapons and shit all day. I'm just oh. scrolling back and forth going like, hmm, is that worth 59,800 credits? Yeah, I think so. I definitely want tank legs. Fuck, That's man. all I've been legs. fucking doing, dude. You have, do you have tank legs? Uh, I chickened out. I went four legs, though. I did four, like, okay. spider-style legs for a little while. I got tired of it. <laughs> I went back to... <laughs> That was I went to backwards knee legs. Well, Come did it make on, you man. jump far? Uh, yeah, it affected mobility. What the, yeah. which, which ones? The spider legs? A yeah, little spider like legs made you push for climbing yeah. and stuff. Spider legs? Yeah, that, that, was, that, All was, terrain? that made you very spry on your feet. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah, but those spider legs creep me out so much, man. I know that was actually made me uncle. I, I, to me, that I'm like things. You know, you, I'm, you I'm looking out. Legs, I'm looking out at all the mechs that I'm fighting, and I'm going, "Am I a spider legs guy, really, dude?" The footwork, you know? on the footwork on spider legs is insane. I'm going. Weird. I get that there yeah, are spider the legs. Drills. There's drill, spider drill. legs mech guys out there. Is that really who I am? That's what I'm saying. Dude. I don't know. That's why I sold them. You gave them away. You're like, this I is said, too much nah, power. I didn't give them away, dude. Come on, man. I'm a mercenary. <laughs> Everything has a price. <laughs> <laughs> spider legs mech suit, dude. Yeah, I went, I went spider legs for a little bit. I never went tank I legs. I was like, evil. I, I, no, tank <laughs> legs guys are real. I don't have yeah. any idea what's going on in the minds of a tank legs yeah. mech guy. Well, that's a, tank that's legs. a choice. What? what are oh, like, like he's a tank. Caterpillar wheels. From the hips down, you're a tank. Like and the then, triangle tank legs? No, a regular ass tank, like and then your body wheels. sits on tread. top. You got tank tread. I'm talking yeah, about yeah, full yeah. flat tank, like a tank with a, a mech body on top of it. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm going, who the uh, fuck's doing that? Big dicks, but big dick guys. <laughs> the tank legs. Big. If your me if your mech's got tank legs, you got a big ass. Yeah, th those dick. guys are never wondering when pussy's coming. <laughs> not at that, all. Not one way or another. If you um, if you ever shoot one of those guys because it's like babe just came in and like tried to ride out on him, like, babe get out, yeah. I'm modern the fucking mech, get off me. You could also leave get that on me. autopilot while you get your dick sucked. Yeah, you can get pussy while your mech. You talking about cruise control? Yeah. <laughs> you put your mech on cruise control and get your dick sucked. <laughs> Dude, why That's can't my girls goal. be into mechs? Dude? Dude, there's there's like 15 of these games. No, it, no girls allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, imagine if a girl mechs came is in. boys time. Imagine if a girl came in and saw your mech suit and was like, dude, what if I had to share mech like mech groupies like. Cheerleaders. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. if if I had to share mech suit time with my wife, I think it would destabilize my marriage. <laughs> True, that is that's for time. me. You don't that's hurt. You don't hurt me coming me. She walks. She walks through. I go. Look how good I'm getting. Because it's really hard to control. Uh, yeah, and it should be. If you're playing a mech, like I don't want to feel I like agree. I'm controlling a guy and just I jumping agree. around. So it's like difficult to me. I'm like, babe, look at me making this guy move around. Look how smooth I am. Yeah, I'm yeah. And uh, she's like, that's great, cool. Yeah, because then if she at some point, and if she goes, gives me anything more than that. It's over for us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, dude, I'm Damn. fired up. I'm That's fired pretty up tight. on I like, No, I like mech suits do rule, and setting up a mech suit and piling it is pretty cool. It's the it's probably the only, like, it, like overindulgent fantasy that I have. Do you like ever, if, if I if I know I have some time to drift, I go okay. Let's slide into the cockpit, and I just uh, I imagine what it would be like. Like, would you feel each step? You know what I mean? Would it feel like like uh like the car suspension where you're kind of comfy as it's riding, or would you be getting fucking rocked all the time? I think about it. You got like sick hydraulics. Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, and then also like, are you running? Anything, are you boosting? Yeah, so luxury they, are your feet kind of like just hovering because you've got boosters on your back and you never actually really have to do any kind of like terrestrial Dude, movement? I'm definitely in a mech suit I can't afford. Constantly worried about it getting repossessed. I was about to say your mech gets repossessed. <laughs> well, that's the other thing is it's so so. <laughs> I can't even really enjoy my mech suit. You know. So what I you're mean? a mercenary because yeah, I think there's two there's two mech origins. There's one where you're like, uh, like by some chance you're the smartest and best pilot ever, and they need you, or you're a mercenary and everything all you're thinking is dollars and cents every day. <laughs> I'm just thinking yeah. about Sydney parking his mech suit in a dance garage to. No, I put my mech. To my mom's name, yeah, though. Mom's <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cover on it yeah. overnight. Every day. Actually, I'm just gonna put all the separate parts in different people's names. <laughs> Dude, none of, the, none of the paint on each part matches. It's, it's like five different colors. <laughs> yeah, it's like my mech suit's dinged up on the passenger side. <laughs> Oh, man. Feet are completely dicked. <laughs> oh, no, no, dude. My next two feet are going to yeah, be that's fly. It. That's fly. the only fly part. You got nice kicks. <laughs> you got to get you got to get knocked around with it. I feel like you got to get knocked around with your mech suit a little bit because mm -hmm. if you're not like absorbing the blows your mech suit's taking, yeah. Yeah. you're not moving as quick in it. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm I'd want to feel I'm some of the damage. When my mech gets hit, cut to me and I'm going, whoa, and there's sparks flying around. Me. Like, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> at least set up, yeah. like, I'd set up like a, like, like a voltage <clears throat> system, so I at least got like shocked. But would you oh. consider, and now would you consider they suspend you in liquid that you breathe like uh, in the movie Abyss? Uh, what? The Abyss. Yeah, I, uh, I think that might be Neon Genesis. Dude, you, you, you're suspended in a liquid and you're just controlling everything. I, like, do you think Anybody in this room could afford that mech suit? Uh, well, that's what you're chosen. You, you're the one, and we need you. Gotcha. Yeah, that has no. Yeah. There's no price on, and they spent yeah. too much money on it. Yeah, it finds you. That suit mm -hmm. finds you. That suit finds you. Sure. Otherwise, you're driving around. Dude, can we please? We, we that's something <laughs> we have to look into in the future. Heads. Mm -hmm. Well, my. You know, I uh, have I talked about my dream, the dream video game I want to make on here. I don't think you talked about it on here. I don't know if I, I've talked about this definitely in the past, but my dream video game I want to make is five, five play, five versus five team mech. Like you already formed the Megazord, and the five you have to work together to control it to fight another one. That I think would be the coolest shit ever. Yeah, so but, you'd you, but you'd have to devote your whole controller to like one foot or two feet, basically. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. Yeah, so like uh, maybe you'd have like one legs guy and he'd be moving you around, and then you'd have the arms guy and he'd be working the weapons and swinging shit. Only the head guy, maybe only the head guy could see anything, or he's got all like the systems and he's got to communicate. So imagine you you're the head guy and you're like, you're the only one like really with a view on the battle because everyone else is sitting in weird places. Or you're just first person view of a leg. It'd be like a, a leg. Yeah, like see. everybody has yeah. their own. And view. the guy in the head can't control it. All he could do is relay information and like move power kick, around. Be like, kick, kick. Like, yeah, yeah I'm going to throw the power into the leg so we can run out, like get a little bit of distance. Then I'll switch the power to the arms. Could you, could you, we could, we could shoot hard. I don't know. This might be gay, but I think I have a very cool video game <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want to talk about this. I, yeah, said, dude, who, yeah no, no, you got to no, find like dude. because you think you, know, you you've I love first of all I love this game. Second of all, I love the idea that with this game being out there, there will be people in the world that be like, yeah, I'm more of just like a right arm guy. Yeah, oh, kind of my absolutely. thing. Absolutely, everyone's you know, a position need, player. You need a right arm if you if you know anybody that needs a right Bro, arm. Please, the, the head's the captain of the yeah. team. They're playing this in esports arenas. There's five dudes versus five dudes sitting side by side on stage just with their mouths open, like. <laughs> While 20,000 retarded 12 year olds are just like, Yes, dude, let's go. Do you think there'd be music? Can I be the heart? Oh, ooh, <laughs> be the heart. The generator? Yeah. It's either the generator or the core. But uh, I don't know. What would the, what would the dude, torso's you need mechanics. job be? You need people fucking fixing shit after oh, damage. And oh, stuff. my God, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, he's monitoring damage uh, and like, yeah. I'm rerouting power. <laughs> <laughs> Having like internal bots that spring out of you. Dude, that would be so sick. Oh, dude. I, I mean, that'd be kind of fun. This would be nasty. And then, like, I don't know. It would almost feel like a chore to swing the giant sword, the laser sword that you have. Mm -hmm. Like, if you fuck it up, like, you fall over or, like, you don't get enough power. So you actually nail someone. And that's got, like, a, that's like a religious sexual experience is delivering, like, a laser sword blow that fucks up another Yeah, team. that'd be pretty cool. That's why you start off with the four legs because the balance is better. Coward. You know, you know what that's, you that's, do? that's coward <laughs> talk, Sydney. Don't ever say that shit again. <laughs> God. Well, you know what you could yeah, do? Yeah, get your up with the four legs. Yeah. 
You can have it. It's kind of easier to move around. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> I'm tired of face plants and every time we swing a fucking sword, Tim. <laughs> yeah, well, you're fucking swinging too hard, dude. I told you I can only balance on so much. Oh, uh, dude, those locker rooms. Dude. God oh, damn. My God. <laughs> That'd be so oh. fucking hard. I wonder if you could do a thing where you split the body up and then whoever's like playing the best as one part gets to become like the center of command, but then I guess that would just that would be a five way battle. You're talking about one of the legs being the captain? Like Ooh. eventually, maybe? I don't know. Okay. I all right. No, I don't know. You gotta to have it. a second in I'm command. Open to it. Well, you have I'm just saying if the head's not the captain, that's he's gotta be in his own head. They're just like, what am I not getting done that these guys don't see me as the captain? Yeah, I'm the fucking true. Head. Dude, true. it's like the X Men where like Cyclops is the leader, but Wolverine is clearly the captain. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect true. city, dude. Props on the perfect analogy, dude. <laughs> oh no, I've ruined this podcast. <laughs> no, this is good. Yeah. So my, here's here's my this is what I'm actually thinking. You'd have to enter in and like start as like a leg and work your way up. Not anyone could just be the head and command battle. You'd have to spend time. Yeah, when you when you get your friend to download the games, like pick leg. I'll show you what we're doing, and Mm -hmm. and then you know you don't know if you have the next superstar on your hands. That's what I'm saying. You don't know if you have a real head on your hands. You have to work your. Otherwise, (laughs) people would all fight to be the head of the of the sword. Well, everybody wants to be the head. The arms guys. Everybody can be the head. The arms guys are always the dumbest. They're just the guys going pew pew pew. The legs Dude, guys the are like course. always kind of skinny in real life and possibly taking Adderall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> run, yeah. run. So you're saying arms are like really blue collar types. Yeah, arms, yeah. dude. They yeah, they Doctor, show up with a yeah. lunch pail, they <laughs> yeah. clock in, they clock out, and they blow shit up. <laughs> yeah. If I'm not doing repairs, I'm an arm. Yeah. Yeah. The de- oh, I mean You gotta do it. That'd be fun. I see Sydney as a leg guy though. Sydney's a leg guy with extreme fundamentals. Like, you you can't put shots on this guy because he's never where you think he's going to be. <laughs> yeah, but dude, would game recognized game. I got to yeah. take that. Would you make the buttons, like, super complicated? Absolutely, to dude. So it, you have it, to use all the buttons to do it. Is as unfriendly to the the player as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd, be, you'd be, like, genuinely balancing the legs in like, real time. Yeah. I'm falling. It'd be like left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right. When, right, I'm, right. when I'm playing Armored Core, I have to have almost every finger on a button at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's called claw. I have to I have to use the claw. To play armor core. Wait, what are the other hand <laughs> techniques for controllers? There's claw. <laughs> there's there's standard and there's claw. Basically, there's okay. probably some other weird shit. Especially if you're doing like speed runs of older Nintendo games, you might like hold it against your thigh and like yeah, bounce the controller off of your thigh so that you can double like you can dude, hammer the like, buttons faster. I feel like the Asians have a lot of different hand. Oh, techniques. dude, I like yeah. in the past play year, ping pong? dude. What? Say it again? You ever seen the way they play, they play ping pong? Yeah. Dude, where they, they hold it. Team, hold, yeah, team hold China. It. Team China is on a sale. They, they hold like the fat part of the yeah. thing. It's like, who would have thought of that? Or they yeah. hold it with the, the handle up and the paddle down. That's it. Yeah, they do the wild Damn, stuff. Damn, they like Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> True. Chopsticks are wild. Yeah, anyway, so the claw, so instead of holding like L1 and R1, those fingers are now going all the way onto the front of the controller and pressing extra buttons at the same time as your thumb. Wait, oh my do God. Do you press... L1 and R1 with like the palm of your yeah, hand? Yeah, no. You start bringing in, you're like a flamenco guitar player, oh, dude. You're bringing, you're bringing in your ring and pinky <laughs> fingers. <laughs> you, need a, you need a fucking mech for your I, hands, dude. You I'm, just need somebody controlling I, each I, 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 I can't say I'm a full claw guy. I see those guys out there. I respect them. My boy Justin was like a semi-pro Halo player. Mm-hmm. He only claws, and I just go, you're a fucking freak. Yeah, damn. It's like a groping motion too. It like is. It will reach around. Th- yeah, this is. <laughs> there's no way the controller wants that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I took Sydney to see Ween and gave him LSD. That was that. That's pretty sick. We haven't that talked was, about it. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> we we said good night, and this is our first time getting a chance to like gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I don't. I don't know. I'm curious. So I'll, all right. So I went with uh, uh, Carl and Christian, two of our fucking old head comedy yeah. buddies in Philly, and two the funniest guys in the world yeah. and I don't care about Ween that much like record they have a couple of cool songs that are in the playlists but uh Carl took me to see them last year we did acid it was the best time ever we're doing it again this year we had an extra ticket I I Sydney was not the first person I asked I know people that are into Ween and they had to back out last minute and the day of I was like yo are you busy tonight being wieners <laughs> 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 yeah, we're high performance Woo. joggers <laughs> that you Woo. buy and try on your car and get out and say these are very small dude that's high speed lifestyle <laughs> these are high speed dude I wanted yeah. to run I got out of the car I was like no I might fucking bolt there's no way Noah's keeping up you're gonna have to tether him to you <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna drag him. I've thought about it put rollerblades on Noah <laughs> <laughs> to give him a rope I was looking up rollerblades the other day 
Uh, yeah, about dude, to happen. let's get this spring. About get to happen. Them. Don't say anything about it this spring. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're we're doing an entire episode on rollerblades. It's not yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. We, anyway, day of, yeah. I hit Sydney up. I go, yo, if you're not busy tonight, I have kind of a fun thing you could do. Uh-huh. And I said, there's a ticket waiting for you. And he goes, maybe I have a show. And I, so we're at the show. There's no opener. They just come out and they start like a three hour set. And Sydney goes, okay, I'm coming. And I yeah. tell Carl and Christian, like, yo, I think Sydney's going to be taking that ticket. And they go, this is the best. <laughs> this is the fucking best. <laughs> there's no better person who could be receiving this ticket. So Sydney yeah. gets there. He throws the acid down right away, and I go, check this out. Yeah. What did you think? <laughs> well, first of all, it, it, it was crazy, but I had to clear my mind be, to deal with the acid because they had the same trip last year, but Christian had to bail, right? right? So the whole, like, I'm seeing Christian for the first time in years. Mm-hmm. And when I first get there, I'm like, fuck, I hope I get to hang out with Christian. I hope everybody doesn't just leave afterwards. I'm like, yeah, how yeah. do I ask this question without sounding gay? Don't leave, guys. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, can we please Wait, hang you guys out? don't want to, like, get in a party yeah. together or anything? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so then, like I, like, I had to clear my mind of that. To yeah, take yeah, this yeah. acid, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. So like, uh, t- dude, it was so fucking sick. It was, uh, I mean, I, for my, one of my favorite parts. First of all, Ween is just like just crushing all night long. Mm-hmm. There's this guy next to me that's just like a fucking like one of those wavy things outside of a gas station. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's just all night long just feeling it. Yeah. And honestly, I think he was forcing it a little bit. Yeah, because I like I am. I, yeah. I was gonna say that before you got there. I was he like, was forcing yeah. the vibe. He was forcing the vibe. So like Ooh, I, yeah. I was like, especially once the acid hit, I was like jumping into different vibes and trying to like embody the vibe. Dude, when I was embodying his vibe, my hamstring started. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. He needed to sit the fuck down, man. He was forcing it. Yeah. He was picking on the vibe. Heavy yeah, it, right? he was in Sid's empty vibe. seat for the like the first half of the show once before Sid got there, and I was just like, all hey, right, man. Yeah, that was too close. Stop was, fucking! Yeah. Don't fucking wiggle dance that close to me, please. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it was he was sh- he was showing off for the ladies he was with. Yeah, was he? Yeah, because I, I was talking to Ansley about it. I bet I, I bet you he was bragging to them about when he goes to a Ween concert. Oh, he yeah. just vibes the whole time. He never even sits down, oh, dude. Sid, I mean, he's nailing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just entering vibes, Matt. It was yeah. so fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So his, uh, his harsher hamstrings. It did it, while I was sitting down. And it was just like, man, yeah. this sucks. Think about that. If you're out there and you have tight hamstrings, you might be forcing the vibe. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you sitting in an office chair for 12 hours a day. Yeah, that is you're an forcing indicator. the vibe. That is definitely an indicator. <laughs> you might be forcing the vibe. <laughs> yeah, that's such that nobody talks about that. Yeah. Dudes try to force the vibe, and it's like, dude, come on. Mm-hmm. So, so Tim explains to me what this band is all about. They're about a, a fun vibe and a good time. They're just having fun, right? They're having you know, fun. Sorry, I, I yeah. had to stop. You know what's the absolute anthem of dudes who force the vibe? That one, like, tonight's gonna be a good oh, night. Yeah. yeah. Vibe forces. Vibe forces. <laughs> for real. For real. Oh, God. Yeah. Fist pumpers are. Yeah. Like, that's, that's like right on the edge of vibe force. Yeah. Right? You have something to say no? No. Oh, yeah. Shut yeah. the fuck up then. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. He, no, he, he didn't say anything. I'm messing with Noah. I love Noah. I love Noah. <laughs> What the hell, Sid? <laughs> Is the Wiggle Man inside you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what yeah, vibe sure. was that? He, no, it's no, Noah. He quantum leaped back into the Wiggle guy. vibe over next to me. No, 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 no. no. No, you yeah. did the right thing. You did yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Telling someone yeah. to shut the fuck up as hard as you can is always fun every single time. Well, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's always funny to yeah. do. All right, so Tim, 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 Tim gives me the quick DOS on Yeah, I go, I go, these are the least cool guys in the world, and that's why they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And they're just doing, like, all different genres of cool music, and they have a light show that goes with each mm. genre and shit, which was fun. So they're, like, they're weaning out hard. Everybody's feeling the vibe. I'm, I'm jumping to this because this was one of my favorite parts. And I'm, like, I'm getting them. Like, he... Tim Tim gave me the little fucking cliff notes on how to enjoy them, mm-hmm. right? I feel like I'm I'm enjoying them. I'm laughing at a seemingly appropriate times because like Tim and uh, yeah, you know Carl and Christian they're also laughing too. I'm like fuck, I'm I'm getting this, right? Yeah, oh, cool. And then out of nowhere he just goes, <laughs> "This one's for the Puerto Ricans." <laughs> 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 Yeah, that one got sit pretty hard. <laughs> it got you. It did. It did, man. How long did you laugh for? Uh, I think I laughed through the whole song. Yeah. Because <laughs> I never got why it was Puerto, Puerto Rican. I think it was about Puerto Rican lady. Yeah. It was like, but it was like, uh, it didn't have a very Puerto Rican vibe. It didn't? No, it yeah. didn't. I didn't. Yeah. But it was, it was I'm pretty sure it was about begging a Puerto Rican lady to right? let, her, let, her, he was let ho- him eat her ass. He was hollering at a Puerto Rican chick the whitest way. Mm. Do you know really? what I mean? Really? Which was funny. The way it, dude, it was through the so, song, dude, and yeah, and every, and it's like, uh, yeah, I really felt like I was like 
connecting with the there's whole. a lot of dudes listening to this right now going sid sid's got it yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, sid. he's picked up loud and clear yeah that's awesome the, the only like see the only thing if i had any complaints like so there was uh so we were up in the mezzanine and then there was like a group to the left that i could see of a crowd and a group to the right and they were like this crowd to my left they were all like synchronized they were like jamming in a synchronized way the group to my right there was like no synchronicity and no vibe mm. to that uh, did you notice that no absolutely not yeah. i was very very fucked up oh yeah i was vibe jacking all night long <laughs> really yeah, when i'm more plugged in yeah when i'm on psychedelics yeah i like to like meld into the fucking vibe and that's just like pretty see what tight happens. that's yeah. pretty awesome yeah, yeah it's fun man so what I, do you think about the lack of cohesion on the other side i just thought they were missing out yeah, you know, I thought there's were, there's a crazy there's a pretty crazy mix of people at mm -hmm. at a Ween show. There, yeah. like Ween heads come in pretty pretty weird flavors. Yeah, and some of them groove out, and some of them are like people you don't really want to talk to at the office. You know. Yeah, I could, yeah. And yeah. then the guys, I mean, those were basically the vibe faker mm. next to Sydney. Mm. Those guys aren't really getting it, and they're punishers. It's tough to be around those people. Yeah, dude. I, yeah. I, a lot of knit hats in that group. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no offense. <laughs> I'm not yeah. coming at you. No, dog. shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of knit hats in that non-synchronized group. Oh, yeah, too cool for schools. Yeah, a lot of yeah. It was weird. It was, it was uh, you know. No, I feel like we're attacking you personally. <laughs> but no, I would say a knit hat is comes with the too cool for school territory. Yeah, of like yeah, I'm like here. Like I don't really like these guys, but it's like funny to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm like yeah. You know, the whole ironic existence that freaks me out when people like take their existence into like complete irony and it's like dude you're gonna pretend you don't do anything. yeah knit hat vibes the, although different are as undesirable as kangle hat vibes Ooh. i i take kangle hat all day well no it depends on who's wearing it though he's like you're talking black guy in a kangle hat yeah i'm saying old yeah. black man no yeah. i'm not he's not <laughs> who are you talking yeah. about i'm talking about like just fucking there was some Kangle hats at that like Ween concert. Dickheads, yeah. Oh, white Kangle hats. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Totally white Kangle hats or like white Kangle hats. There's like, some rude geezers in Kangle hats sometimes. Really? Mm. Yeah, I'm talking about those people. Wait, yeah. Are you talking about bucket hats or Kangle? No, not bucket hats. I got no issues with the bucket hat people. The the just strictly the Kangle. Just just strictly bucket hat the people the are Kangle. harmless. Oh, uh, uh, sometimes Italians get in the Kangle hats. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. It is. An, it's a very specific energy that not everyone can act as, can like conduit yeah. it, it through their body. Yeah. Bucket bucket hats, although completely foreign to me, I'm compl I'm 100 percent at peace with those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking hat, fishermen. I'm talking dirty guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking dudes who love drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket hat guys, I got none of love. <laughs> I mean, dude, Kangle hat white guys is it's shout out dirty guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out just like filthy fucking pig dudes. Yeah, stinking like shit. But yeah. you got a bucket hat. On. <laughs> Either love a Kangle hat guy or you hate them. Mm -hmm. They're they're walking a very fine line. Yeah, they could be detestable. Yeah, they're tough. They can be tough. White Kangle hats are tough. Yeah, black Kangle hats. They're like tent poles on the slick road. Like we're good for sure. They're stupas. Yeah. yeah. No, they're cool. Nice, nice jacket from Macy's to go with it. Mm. Yeah, mm. the young, the young black that, guys wear Kangol hats. I saw hats? it at Macy's. I don't think do any young black guys wear Kangol hats. Uh, they're not it. fun right now. The young black guys in Kangol hats, they're, yeah, they're really not fun. yeah because they're, what they're trying to do is uh, uh they're, they're revisioning like seventies fucking protest like fucking. They're going militant. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's like woke. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. fucking co opted into their wokeness. Mm. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, those guys are going to get their fucking houses blown up. They're not careful <laughs> by the government, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you better be fucking careful, man. Yeah, yeah, true. That was crazy. There's no telling what those guys will do to you. True. <laughs> you can't tell me things haven't gotten better, Butterly. <laughs> you can't tell me things haven't gotten better. Mm. I'm with you. It mm. is funny. It is. It's a kind of a like a never-ending tail-eating argument. People were like. It's so fucked up. Like it's so much better. Like they blew our houses up in the nineteen seventies, and that's why things are fucked up. Like, but it's so much better now. Like they blew our houses up. It's like, yeah, but that's why it's so much better. Is they don't do that. Yeah, Does that make I, any sense at no, all? No, no. Everyone's everyone's being a little bit of a belly aching in their own ways. I think so. People who are it's, like, that's not real. It's like belly aching, and people are like, this is the worst thing ever. It's like <laughs> belly aching. Yeah, yeah. We're in the worst timeline. How do you feel about that stance? That we're in the worst timeline. I mean, we always are. We're always in the worst and the yeah. best. Yeah. Ooh, exactly. You're going quantum, Sydney. Oh my bad. I'm talking. <laughs> bad. I'm talking. Stay here with me. All right. In three dimensions, 
agree or disagree with the people who say we're in the worst time? I disagree. I totally totally disagree. (laughs) (laughs) I was just talking to my brother today about uh, you getting people are basically in negative feedback loops. Yeah, and it's like you have to identify all your negative feedback loops and eliminate them. Mm. Okay, he was saying he was talking about he was listening to like a a talk by the remember the guy John Lilly, who like he was apparently the first dude to fuck with ketamine. Mm-mm. I think he was the guy Sounds who like cool. laid in float tanks and tried to talk to dolphins. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, this dude. Fucking, that guy's a real bucket hat. <laughs> this dude fucking rules, dude. Dude, if you look in, I, I've read about him before, but he was one of the early proponents of ketamine. He would like shoot himself with it in the arm intramuscularly. You don't have to shoot it in your veins, apparently. And then he would lay in a float tank and like try to talk to dolphins, talk to like aliens and shit. And were, he, were there dolphins in the float tank with him? I don't know if he was like near an aquarium or something, but I don't know what the fuck he was doing. How close to an aquarium you have to be in a float tank to talk to dolphins? I don't he could have just I been mean, too far away. If you can talk to dolphins, not that far. Yeah. I mean, not that cl- you don't have to be that close. They, they, They'll I mean, meet you halfway for sure. Yeah, yeah. You might, like, for you to understand them, but you might have to be closer for them to get what you're saying. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, your signal repeater isn't as strong as theirs is. No, You're, it's underutilized. It's atrophied. You never use it. Yeah. Dude, I mean, dude, there's this is the man right here. I mean, I think that was the apparently studying dolphins led to the creation of an isolation tank. I'm just reading a clip from a Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> 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 but yeah, this this dude was apparently a very wild dude. He probably was extremely sexually attracted to dolphins. I don't know. Oh, that's what he do. He would take LSD and he would try to communicate with dolphins. I mean, dude, fuck. There's so many. There's videos on this, but they're. Uh, this is an interview with a guy. I don't know anything about him, dude. Oh shit, my bad. Well, my, I mean, like, there, there's a. Am plugged into the there. thing? Yeah, there's a thread there because dolphins are supposed to be really social, highly intelligent. Dude, can I give this to you, Danny, to put on the screen? Actually, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm. Fucking high and sleep deprived from a dumbass. Yeah. Oh, I'm dying to see this. Yeah, right. while you guys are doing that, can I request a trivia, Danny? Yeah. Trivia. <laughs> let me see what let me see. What, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what do we got? Oh no, he's also Googling something. <laughs> what is the family name of the ruling dynasty of Monaco? Monaco? Is that a country or mm, yeah. Yeah, that's where like um that's where they have like uh races? F1 yeah. races while while secret agents gamble inside of like the <laughs> casino. What is that like Super <laughs> Italy? What's Monaco? Super it, it Italy. I think it is. Yeah. I think it's Super Italy. That's <laughs> 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 exactly what it is. Yeah. Fuck, what's the que- what's the question again? What's the what of Monaco? The, the ruling family guy? name of the ruling fam. Yeah. Uh Bruni Brunis. Uh um, fuck, dude. Monaco. Uh, La Fanigliere. Smith. <laughs> I was I was gonna go with like Du Plays or Board Board Plow. Board Plow. I Borplo. like that. <laughs> <laughs> can I also say Board Plow? Yeah, can, can I change my answer to Board Plow as well? <laughs> what it, is, it is Grimaldi. Damn. Grimaldi. Oh, Grimaldi. Oh god, damn! Just wearing a fucking white jacket with black pants and. <laughs> Telling a guy who's betting a million dollars that he's over his limit. That Kangol, Kangol hat. You think? I'm thinking slicked black hair. Ooh, you ain't putting a hat on that. Who? The oh, the the prime minister of uh, Greg Romano or whatever his I name. I feel like is. that's you know they always make up like a place for like Disney like teen Disney princess movies mm-hmm. and they're like oh you're we actually the prince of Agrabah. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a fuck. That's what it sounds like one of those places. Grimaldi or Monaco? Monaco. Yeah, it sounds like one of those fake king- kingdoms they make up. Hey guys. Manscaped has been nice enough to give us money now for mentioning their stuff they sell. So, do you guys uh, shave your balls or no? Not not fully. No? I need like a fade. No, I just do one side. One side? Yeah. I've, I've actually, sometimes I'll like be in the middle of it. I have like this little um, electric razor. Before I had Manscaped, actually, I'd use my wife's little pussy razor. Mm-hmm. And the batteries would die, so I'd end up with like, like half my shit pubes. A clitoris. I, I'd actually, a clitoris. <laughs> yeah, and you go, all right, I'll 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 come back and fix that in a little bit. And then you don't. And so yeah. you got a fucked up bird haircut. Yeah, well, guys, if you want to get your, you know, again, I was, I'll, also, I do scissors a lot, too. No. I used to trim my pubes with, like, what? like household scissors. Were you an old Italian guy? <laughs> <laughs> I was, dude. You until get home and you hold them up and you go, mm, I got a blue liquid. 
<laughs> Until Manscaped lifted me out of my darkness. Thank dude. goodness. Get 20% off and free shipping mm. with the code DADS, D A D Z, at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code DADS at manscaped.com. Manscaped, for the perfect, find the perfect gift for the holiday's biggest hit, which is your penis at the family party pulled out. For <laughs> 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 We're done. It's the yeah. bathroom salute. Dude, apparently his, Lily, this is the thing my brother was telling me about. He's like, you're, he was he was talking about your inner programming. It's just loops. It's just all day. You wake up. You get pissed off about something. You get you do this. You're like I gotta do that, and you just do it constantly. And he was saying you have to identify your loops. And he's like anything that knocks you out of just perf perfect satori. He's like you have what's to satori? Just it's it's basically like it sounds Japanese. Yeah, it's like it is. It's like the Zen version of like enlightenment or samadhi or it's like you're that's you're supposed yeah. to just be operating out of just pure bliss and awareness. And anything that disrupts that, you have to be like. Why I'm on? You have to change all your loops to parabolas that keep going up and up and up. Dude, I'm What's down a parabola? with parabola. I think it's something that goes X, like X up. squared. Yeah, it just keeps exponent. <laughs> yeah, something. It's more like a cool loop that maybe yeah. goes higher. Than I like Satori because that puts me closer to like an anime lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he was saying Satori. all he's like, you just operate on these weird. You have to constantly just be working on your inner programming. So you're constantly spinning yourself out, and he's like, there's just no excuse, dude. There's no excuse. For I mean, I guess this guy's never been hit with like real time tragedy. <laughs> but I guess even that, yeah, you have to process. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what this guy's. He was saying like. anything outside of being like hit with a brick or like having like you know someone like kills your wife, obviously. But like he said, <laughs> the majority of people are just like bopping around, just doing their thing, just fucking. Rah, 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 rah. He's like, you must get in there. Wait, am I trying to eliminate Satori? No, keep Satori. Satori just operate strictly out of it. He's trying to maintain Satori. constant Satori. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get the video, Danny? Yeah, you're supposed to be ma you're supposed to maintain constant satori, and anything that takes you out of that, you go. What the fuck am I even doing? Yeah, Noah, do you got a tight satori? Of course. Noah's, yeah. I think Noah satori is pretty tight. Yeah, he seems like he has a tight satori. Yeah, I don't want to compare satoris with Noah. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. I've been reading about Zen. There's a Zen monastery in New York City, or not New York City, out in the New York State, and uh. It's funny, you just go there and it's like you just sit on a pillow and then they say one day, maybe in like 30 years or like two years, you might just go and get with a flash and be like, yeah, I'm totally cool with everything. Some guys try it for 30 years and like, that nah, didn't happen. Ooh. Kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, like I still find most shit annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little bit of a tough hang, if you will. And now I have knee, <laughs> now I have knee problems from kneeling on a pillow for <laughs> yeah, 30 years. Yeah. Damn, dude, this is what this guy's about. He's kind of like Tony Stark for drugs. All right, so what are we watching? This is, I don't know, this is just the show. Well, it looks like we're time. watching John C. Lilly interview at Future Communications <laughs> Laboratory. <laughs> oh, this is God. Crazy. This is perfect. Yeah. This is how. 71% of the planet is. Fuck, Asian. he stole my idea. <laughs> he stole our idea. Yeah, this is stoner. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Holy shit. shit. Can we just have him as the fourth <laughs> chair? <laughs> there are 79 different species of cetaceans whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Man, dude. It's Matt and in the future. Establish the cetacean nation. Dude. We've been speaking dolphin so long you can barely speak English. Can we get, can we get captions, dude? Flow. This is crazy. <laughs> Matt, this is the path you could have taken. Is... <laughs> here we go, here we go. Since Maui is in the center of the Pacific, we wanted to make Maui the secretariat for the cetacean nation. Cetacean nation, dude. <laughs> cetacean nation, baby. It's dolphin nation. <laughs> this dude fucking rules, dude. The <laughs> big mystery is why... The brain. I mean, he's wearing khaki on khaki for our listeners out together. there. He's kind of Wait, is like he actually in this one? The yeah. Or is planet. this also green screen? The sperm whales have the biggest 10, brain on the planet. Grams compared to our 1,500 grams. So there's a 6 to 1 ratio oh, fuck. in the brain size. Yeah, but they're also huge as fuck, dude. Yeah, seriously. We should know more about what the sperm whales talk about. We know that they're very careful with one he's another. He's embarrassed that we can't speak to these animals. Yeah, dude. In fact, the larger brain animals in the sea don't hurt one another or us. Fuck, dude. And we don't quite know why. Fuck. That does suck that, like, the, we just, every once in a while in history, we just show up with boats and throw sticks the at them until they die. <laughs> our comparative size on the Can left you look up cetaceans, brain, Noah? on the right is the dolphin brain. Fuck. Those other small mammals have brains below. The monkey, the cat, Hey, yeah, I don't. I don't respect monkeys at all. 
He sh- he's saying we should be boys with dolphins. Like, I think, well, I fuck with monkeys. The no. No. To, uh, they've yeah. entered the Stone Age from whatever. Yeah, came up yeah, this. They're about to start foot. making beats with rocks. Uh, well, uh, there's a mother and a baby was there. Why is this video so fucked down? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 20 minutes. What the fuck? We exchanged so much information. This is where we're at. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah. They exchanged information. Now let's look at the dolphins. I think this is who Matt would have been without us. This, this is like... <laughs> Without, without Tim and I, this would be Matt right now. Matt started 400 BC, said the voice of the dolphin in there is like that of the humans, in that they pronounce vowels and combinations of vowels, but do not pronounce the consonants. Well, this means that Aristotle had dolphins swimming in shallow pools, and they exposed to boreholes, because that's the where the sound comes from in the air. We spent several years as working with dolphins, having <laughs> a mimic We got to stop. This is a terrible audio experience. Words, yeah. And phonetically balanced Fuck. word. <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> this man looks like dude, Mark McGrath. Like an old. Am I right about that? A yeah, little bit. A little I can bit, see a little dude. bit. Dude, I'm just saying that guy's what telling the fuck, you. Dude. The, the guy's telling you to chill the fuck out. You have nothing to be upset about. The only thing you have to be pissed about is the fact that we don't know more about dolphins and whales. Cetacean Nation, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, it's just about station nation. I uh, got my. I'm completely wiped. I have no idea what we were talking about. That you just yeah. Fucked me. That was some of the most unhinged shit I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like exaggerating, dude. That was Danny. I'm, I might need a trivia to refresh was, my brain. I've been rocked to my core. Can we make an intro out of that? That's a fucking absolutely. I, I, yeah, apparently that guy, dude, he did more like lucid intros back in the day, but he would come out and freak people out like that. He was wearing like, he was wearing like alien clothes and he would go talk to people. So I think he was like a pretty prominent researcher and he just became the most far out dude ever. <laughs> That's as far out as you can get. Being like dolphins are basically aliens and the ancient Greeks knew this and we should be boys with them. Dude, that was fucking nuts. If you I, if you're just listening to this, please go and reference the video because that's I, that I mean, might that might have like caused someone to completely crash. Yeah. If you're trying to follow that conversation, you're hearing. I might send that to my dad. <laughs> and he's like, "Would you just do me a favor? It's only seven minutes long. Would you watch the whole thing before I come over for <laughs> this dinner? Is, this is really important to I me." I go, "Did you watch that video? I really liked. I wanted. To, what, did, what did you think about it? <laughs> yeah. Dude, my dad would get so fucking. My dad would be like, I, yeah, my, my, my dad fucking would be screw pissed. loose. <laughs> he would watch two seconds of it and turn it off and go, "What the hell did you send yeah. me? My dad would be convinced I was trying to hypnotize him with some shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> what if you did hypnotize him with it? And he, he was, was all cetacean nation. Yeah. He was fully like, Sid, we gotta protect him. We never say that guy that guy was a couple donuts short of a dozen. <laughs> 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 oh man. There's no way. My dad would be no use to the dolphins. Yeah, I might keep my fucking thought loops for now, dude. So I don't wanna I can't go full cetacean nation just yet. Wait, what is what does cetacean mean? Did we get a whale. 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 Yeah. Gotcha, Cetacean Nation. That's well, yeah, whales, dolphins, porpoises, actually, yeah. And dude, they're bigger than us, but they don't attack us, and we don't know why. Yeah, because they can't walk on land. We just, when we yeah. swim with them, they play. They just want to play. I'm sure sometimes dolphins fuck people up a little bit. Of dolphins them. rape you. Yeah. I just saw a video of a dude getting fucked up by a whale in a kayak. Really? Yeah, he was like sitting. I sent it. Yeah, I sent it to Andrew. Sid, you're out of Cetacean Nation, dude. Dude, you can't put me out of Cetacean Nation because of my algorithm. Vibe jacking the fault. fucking. <laughs> you're the out of Cetacean whales. Nation, dude. <laughs> you're completely kicked out. Dude. I'm the vice president of Cetacean Nation. <laughs> I'm back in. I'm coming back in. You're in. You're in. You're I in. fuck with porpoises hard. True, you're in. Cetacean Nation lets everybody in. It's a dolphin. The whale brain size is so. How much bigger? He said it was five times bigger than our brain? Or 10,000 grams compared to our 1,500 grams. So we're Big a kilo ass. and a half. Damn, we have big ass brains though. Mm-hmm. If our if it's only that much bigger than us, a whale's only that much bra- bigger than us. It is suck. We have big brains and we just can't figure out how to you know be happy and enjoy our lives. I think we're doing pretty good with them. I think we are, but you know, the average person 
genuinely i said yeah you ever think like primates at the zoo see us and are like i feel bad for you guys <laughs> at least i'm a fucking moron <laughs> 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 and then they throw shit at the glass i think they just get pushed around by like weird animal urges like they're, they're just sitting in there and they're like oh, so i got a bad feeling about this i feel like i should have more space than this i don't know what the fuck's going on and then like a little kid looks them in the eye and they're like you think you could fuck i'd fuck you up <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. and they just like walk away and lay down they're like fuck why do i feel like this <laughs> uh, mm. That's just their life the whole time. Then they get bananas like, oh sweet. Let me go grab. Maybe we're not so different, we and them. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't say them. You talking about monkeys? We yeah. and they. We and they are you simian nation, bro? Yeah. I guess cetacean nation. Fuck that, dude. Nation. Fuck that yeah. tiny brain bullshit. I, I, like, I, I I'm secretly simian nation. I'm, I, I barely like, consider dolphins part of cetacean nation. I just want to. <laughs> you, you need a whale brain, <laughs> dude. You're off the rails today, dude. <laughs> I'm off the whales. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh my god, it's the armor core, man. It got me fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you brought butterling. You have to high. fight one guy. Actually, one guy. One mission they send you on. They go, hey, listen, we weren't going to tell anybody about this, but we had a we had a program called Human Plus trying to make the ultimate mech pilot, and it made this guy insane. Insane. We need you to kill him. And then here's the thing. If you lose enough times and you go into debt, like repairing your mech and paying back like the people that hired you, <laughs> they put you in human plus program and they get, you, you get all these like... There's a bounty on you? I, no, there's not a bounty on you. You get like in, improved abilities. Wait, is this your game? No, no, no. In the game I'm playing. Okay. So you can go so far into debt that they go, you're never going to be able to pay us back. Get on the operating table. We're going to experiment on you. And then you make oh, you a human plus Oh, but you become guy. even but you, better? But you kill a human plus guy because he freaks out. So you know that, like, you're going to fucking freak out. But people play it that way. And I don't know. I don't respect it because it feels like a cheat code. But whatever, dude. That's oh, shit. It. So they force you into experimental research and development? Yeah. And this is like, there's like a whole story explaining all this stuff. It's, it's fucking awesome. That's like my origin I did not story. mean to bring up Armored Core again. I'm just talking yeah. about Human Plus. That, that sounds like my origin <laughs> story. You got to defend dude, You got to You got to defend the cetaceans, dude. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, that's a uh, <sighs> dang. Yeah, what I'm what I'm talking about is how, you know, the average I would say the average person is pretty jam <laughs> pretty jammed. <laughs> Constantly. Am I just making that up or am yeah. I just projecting myself? I'm just, I don't know. I'm just laughing at like going into debt, having to go into like research and development and coming out like the best pussy eater ever. I know. Kind of nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Almost but like then, but then, you can't have a super. But then you go so nuts that a guy in a robot suit it blows you up. <laughs> mm. So you have to go nuts though? I think I think it's inevitable. Dude. Yeah. But I would yeah. think that's what I'm saying. I would be the one that doesn't go nuts and they'd be looking for me the whole time. I'm just out there just leaving a wake of eating. You would say that, dude. That lines up perfectly <laughs> with who you are. You know what's kind of, I know I'm thinking about, of like going the other way with money and just becoming a total debt monster. Just being so far into debt that it's like, dude, I don't even have to ever worry about money anymore. Like I'm never going to have, you ever have been any there? money on my own. I've only ever had credit card debt for like a three grand. Uh, and I just didn't pay it. I stopped it. I don't know how people keep going further and further into debt. It's like, yeah, just walk away from Yeah, from I know some people like that and this is exactly what you say. Like money just stops really existing. It's just they're just always in debt. Yeah, it means nothing. Yeah, I was in the credit trap when I was twenty one, and I just went, "Yeah, you guys keep that money. Let's part ways on this business deal." I know you invested in my me as a twenty one year old. <laughs> in my me, <laughs> turns out, uh, yeah, it was a bad investment. <laughs> yeah, let's just part ways, guys. Let's call it quits. But no, it's I. There are you can just completely fake a lifestyle for ten years and just become a complete. That'd probably be pretty fun, and you just kill yourself, I guess. No, you just fucking, you just have a ball. You just constantly open up new lines of credit. You constantly get penalized. Sometimes your stuff gets taken, but then you get that new card, and you're like, let's go. Yeah, but if, you, if you're so unattached to stuff that you're just, like, fine with it being taken away, I think you just, like, lose the desire to have the stuff. Mm -mm. Oh, no way, man. Dude. This is a shortcut to Satori. This is, <laughs> this is losing so much money that you go human plus. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what happens is when you lose, if you become, like, that fucked up, you do, typically, a lot of those dudes start letting people try stuff on them. They sign up for experiments. <laughs> yeah. Like, for real. This is armored. Everything is armored core. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, you ever know anyone that did like <laughs> went and got paid to do like skin cream tests and stuff? Yeah, that was always pretty. Nice. I knew a couple of people. Actually. Didn't we know? We knew a comedian that was doing that. Really? Yeah, yeah Nick Oldershaw has yeah. been open about this. About oh, he was doing like he, bone marrow. He was going and doing like I think they would like purposely dehydrate him or something like that with a medication, and like he would be at risk of a brain injury, and then they would pay him two hundred dollars or something. Oh, something God. like that. 
Yeah, I, th- I think he was selling like his bone marrow or something. Insane. He's all right. We I, he comes out to the East Coast from time to time. We got to snag yeah, him up, snag, put him in the fucking the tube, get some answers. We'll snag the bro. <laughs> we're gonna, we're some, gonna put run him some in some experiments on him. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna human plus Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to see if you float. <laughs> I witnessed my uh, daughter. Co- Can you podcast with dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> my, do you ever think about what happens if you cover almost your entire body in Vaseline? Uh, you suffocate. I no. Nah, well, I guess she covered a lot of her body, not the whole thing. But I walked in one time when she was young. I forgot I left like the Vaseline thing, and when she was younger, she's still young. But I left the a tub of Vaseline, and I came in the morning, and she was like completely globbed herself in Vaseline. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> an absolute jelly monster, dude. I came in, and was like, what did you? It's tough to even hold her to get her into the bathtub, dude. It yeah. was, it was, it was like cleaning up a duck from an oil spill. <laughs> 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 It was crazy. Yeah. It was so funny because I came and, in. And then and you're I, like, you're slipping, so she thinks you're playing a game, so she's wiggling now. Mm-hmm. She had, it was all over the face, all it was all in the hair, all down oh, the shirt, no. in the face, all throughout the bed, and I walked She was in. probably in heaven, just like, yeah, more please, dude, squish. Having <laughs> so much fun. And I came in, and I just, I just literally had a laugh. I was like, dude, bath time, let's go. Mm-hmm. Picked her up, I said, God damn. Yeah, yeah, getting Vaseline out of a hardwood floor is pretty difficult. <laughs> Getting the Vaseline off. They I, put I, sawdust I, on it or something. No, oh, I. They were. It was a uh, no, palm olive, dude. It was like lemon juice or something weird. Yeah, it was some mm. weird shit. Dish soap does work pretty well though. Dish soap was pretty nice for the floors, but yeah, yeah. Seeing a, a young kid covered in Vaseline is pretty disturbing. <laughs> to come in and just be like, "Wait, what the yeah. fuck?" I would just keep Am I having a stroke. Other stuff that needs to get covered up. What do you put? Wet paint on that? <laughs> just like, keep putting other shit. Dude, on Dude, they were. I came in and she was like pixelated, and I had to be like, "What the fuck." <laughs> Pixelated. She was blurry. <laughs> she, was, she was literally. Did blurry. you think she met, she was like living a high speed lifestyle for a second? You're like, Slow down. Oh no, shit! You're covered in Vaseline. My bad. She was oh, pixelated, dude. I so we had to go to report card conferences yesterday, and uh, this is Fritz is in kindergarten. It's his first year. It's awesome. It's awesome, and he's like such a unique kid. And like when everyone, whenever anyone at the school talks about like him to us, they're just like, "This is a, this kid's pretty cool," <laughs> and. uh Anyway, we found out some distressing news. So there's like, I, we have two kids in the same school, and um, they both like this year they've been saying just how like crazy the kids are. Like, yeah, they've been in the school forever. They're like this year these kids are fucking nuts. Yeah, and uh, I it found, I found out that like the school changed the like the complete all the administration was completely replaced and so now this new administration goes guess what kids don't get in trouble anymore because then it, our school looks better so if you have a problem with a kid in your classroom you work it out and if it's so bad that they send the kid to the principal the principal's just like you better stop and then sends like they can't figure out anything to control these kids like there's no such thing as getting suspended there's no such thing they were doing like saturday detention and then it got to the point where kids was like, I don't give a fuck. Give me Saturday detention. I've got all four Saturdays already booked up for, with detentions. Put, add it to my tab. Fuck you. Yeah. Well, and, also a lot of times too, and like if you're in a lot of the city schools, the school's the only stable place in their life. So then true. they get a lot of kids who start just wanting to, like they're they're like acting out and like I'm bad. I hate this place. But they actually genuinely. True. But like in years past there. when like, when, you know, d- different people ran the place, it wasn't so bad. Yeah. I mean, for sure. I'm not saying. Yeah, like I course. would say my kids got fucked with for being the only white kids. The uh, expected amount. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Anyway, it's now nuts. it's out of control. So, dude, so Fritz says there's a kid in his class who is like, I just every day from bell to bell motherfucker mode and there's nothing they can do about it so this kid's just like being the biggest punisher a kindergartner he's, can he's be he's in a mech suit yeah, he's in the mech suit. yeah he's a mech suit so I had to tell my five year old like okay dude if he hits you yeah man you have to fuck him up <laughs> yeah yeah like your de- like the, your teacher has to let it go so I was like alright dude if ever again you have to tell him I'm telling you stop for the last time and if he doesn't stop dude you're gonna have to do just something about him, it dude yeah it fucking sucks I know, That's especially a, that young. It fucking sucks. It's also yeah. so uh, Finn. Finn was a a very skin to skin kid. Yeah, you know, very like, very like, kind of in his own world, but also in this in the world at the same time. He yeah. was always a unique kid. The sure. first time he had to fight for himself, and he did very well and learned he had power. Oh. That's like, scary. It was. It ch- he changed. Yeah. Yeah. He, I mean, he's still a cool kid. Like I love him. I, he's like. 
but like I, I saw like uh, him wanting to feel that more. That's a fork in the road, man. Yeah, you really yeah, like, gotta. Yeah. I mean, because it do it, it can go it can go bad the other way. Like he could get fucked up and be fearful. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you know what I mean. Or it could just be like a, it, it you know, this is how you know what kind of kid you're dealing with. If it feels like a tie, like where does he go after like a, a kind of like a mutual thing? We both kind of like showed ourselves, and we both walk away. Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. You want him. You you want him to win the fight, but you don't want him so charged up that he's just like, I'm yeah. gonna feel this. You don't want to be a punisher. You know, yeah. he's, he's yeah, exactly. just enough to subdue. Yeah. yeah. We've we've given Maya already the green light. We're like, bro, if someone you know just fucking push him back, like, yeah, don't push you, just push him back. Mm. Yeah. If someone smacks you, just smack him. Yeah. Especially when they're that age as a kid, it's like don't get wailed on. I just yeah. tell Ben that too. Because Ben's getting like fucked with, and I was like, just make him push you first, and then just beat the fuck out of him. Dude, <laughs> he, Get it? If this, like, I think it's it's like a group of kids. He does have friends in school, but like, there's a group of kids that are just like they they're going full Mad Max in seventh grade because there's no there's no repercussions. I mean, dude, I would have been a fucking nightmare. Yeah, if, he, if ben, they let me, ben have my will life. ruin somebody's life. Well, that's what like, I thought. I was like, dude, I understand you're a sweet boy, <laughs> and I I know you don't want to get in trouble, but like, dude, if these if anyone takes it too far, or if you just get tired of it, just get him to push you and beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, then you can come here and chill. Yeah, it's like, but, okay, man. But do you understand what I'm You're saying? You're not going like, to get in trouble either. Like, like, like the character that Ben is in the world, mm -hmm. right? If you get fucked up by him, which somebody is definitely gonna, yeah. they will be ruined. Mm. It's yeah, over for them. Yeah. There's no coming back. He, uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, true. He's he's pretty knowledgeable about jujitsu, but he hit like a he hit like a very strong 12 year old growth spurt. And I'm like, okay, dude, just like just throw it around one time, see what happens. Yeah, pretty sick for the bio too. Yeah, mm. and knock some kid out in grade school. Dude, yeah. I, I had to. Uh, so so you know, Ben and I, we like talk shit all the time. And the other day, he was walking by me, and he like like shoulder bumped me. Mm -hmm. And I had to look to see who it was for a second. I was like, what oh, the fuck was that? No. And then I grabbed him, and I was like, Ben, I have to step it up a notch. <laughs> dude, I'm yeah. sorry, dude, but you, I can't. I got it. You're almost. This is adult body. He was the young. He was the young buck hitting the yeah, horns against. He was. The old fucking, he was. The old dude, Ram. And I swear to God, he does that to me all the time. But that particular day, I I, I noticed. The, dude, it was like holy shit, dude. There's, here's, here's the last thing I'll say about Ben. I, so I went and I had my parent teacher conference with his teachers, and uh, one of his teachers is like, Ben's a great kid. I, I love having him in class. He makes me laugh. Uh, but he wasn't doing like he wasn't doing well in her class earlier in the year and started to get better at it. But the grade was still like a like a seventy seven or something like that. And she's like, but he's already doing better. This is fine. Everything's good. And I turned to him. I was like, bro, seventy seven. We come on. What are we doing? And she was like, oh, that's it. I. She's like, I'm just understanding now where he gets literally all of his mannerisms from watching YouTube talk. <laughs> so apparently, apparently, like even when he's not around me, he's just exactly the same person. That's funny. Mm. Were you there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's jump. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Let's slide in the page. We'll continue this in the page. Also, dude, I'm about to tell you the history of soda. History of pop. I finished. <laughs> yeah, if you're from fucking Kansas <laughs> pop. Or, or Pittsburgh. Shout out Pittsburgh. Is Pittsburgh pop? Pittsburgh's pop. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh pop. Mm -hmm. Soda. You know why it's called soda is actually the correct term, by the way. Because the bubble and the, the it was uh, I think Ooh, save teaser. this, you bro. You're, you're giving it away for free. Yeah, come on, Matt. Let's we're going to the Patreon because of the sodium bicarbonate. Starting <laughs> now. <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> <sighs>